Hi friends, today is Monday, February 8th, and today with reading with Principal Rob Patterson, we're going to read A Thirst for Home, A Story of Water Across the World, written by Christine Lermanino, illustrated by Eric Velasquez. When I was Alamitu, my name meant world. I lived with my ima, or mama, in a small village in Ethiopia. The sun was always smiling down on me and whispered my name with its hot, sticky breath. Ime and I often went to the watering hole. We walked all morning with the blazing orange sun on our backs. Imae told me a story while we walked. Our watering hole gives us something precious, she said, even more precious than gold. We could live a lifetime without gold, but not a day without a drink of water. All over the world, the clouds make the rain and the rain brings us our water. This con connects us to the everywhere and everyone. Water is life. Finally, we arrived at the watering hole and Imae filled her jug. When I looked down into the water, I saw myself in the stillness. I tried to see the bottom, but it was dark and deep. How deep? I wondered. What mysteries are hidden beneath? As I leaned down to take a drink, the water rippled and winked at me. I imagined a secret passage that connected to a place I had never been. Maybe someday I would find out what was on the other side. We walked home barefoot through the brown patches of grass and dry cracked earth. My feet are scared, scarred from the walking many miles. They are rough but strong. They have carried me far with bundles of wood strapped to my back, even as the fierce lion roared in my belly. That night I lay next to Amaye on our mat of woven leaves. It felt soft under my tired limbs. Our food had run out and in the darkness the lion roared his loudest. I tried to ignore it, snuggling loose to Imae's warmth, and I finally fell asleep. One day, Imae took me to a place where she said the lion in my belly would never roar again. Soon you will find out what is on the other side, but I cannot get, go with you, she said. Imae cried, and her tears were like raindrops, so precious that I tried to collect them with the scarf she gave me. But there were too many, and together we tried a shower of tears. Before she left, Imaya kissed me and told me that she loved me forever. Ewa de chale hu. Setu leji. I love you, daughter. In this new place, I waited every day for Imaya to return. I held the scarf full of her precious raindrops, wondering how I could find the secrets of the watering hole here. I didn't know that this was just the beginning of my journey. A lady of the color of the moon came to visit me one day. Many weeks later, the nannies told me she was my new Imaye. She sat with me at lunch and helped me eat my steaming orange stew. Together we found the best part, the hard boiled egg. It was the grand prize. She spoke with words I did not understand. But she stayed and held me on my la on her lap until I fell asleep. I felt safe again. Now I am Eva. My name means life. I have traveled far to a new home. I have a sister, two brothers, a dad, and a mom who is never far. Here the wind whispers my name with its crisp, cool sigh. Each morning when I get up, I take a drink of water. That is always cold and clean. I drink every last drop. I think of Amaye and wish I could show her. Here I have never, I never have to walk very far, but my feet carry me to my new places. My bundle of wood has been replaced with a backpack filled with books and other treasures.
Today I'm going on a picnic with my family. I have on my new shoes, which I am glad for, but sometimes when I look down, I miss my feet. They are hidden inside and, I, and they want to come out. I want to show them to the world. I am proud of my feet, which have carried me far. I take off my shoes and run through the grass. The soft green tickles my toes and my heels. The sun follows me with every step. Since I have come here, the lion roaring in my belly isn't fierce anymore. He isn't even roaring. I eat my whole sandwich, even the crust, because I'm afraid one day he will come back. I meet a new friend here, a butterfly who has colors I know well. I see bright orange from a hot blazing sun and black streaks from the darkest of nights. But he is quiet and never roars. He waves to me, weightless and floating. If I am ever so still, he will land on my arm. Maybe he thinks we have met before, but I know we haven't. That night, I hear the raindrops banging on the roof. I remember what Imaya said, that the water connects us all. I toss and turn and finally crawl into bed between mom and dad. I feel safe, like the smallest twig in my bundle of wood. In the morning, the rain has stopped. Outside is the biggest, most beautiful puddle shimmering in the sun. When I look down, I am amazed at what I see. It invites me to take a drink, so I cut my hands between down close. It is at that moment that I realize where I am, on the other side of our watering hole. I see Amaya smiling. The water has connected my two worlds, and I know who I am. I am Eva Alamitu. I have traveled far, but I'm always close to my homeland. I know what it is to like to feel the warmth of the sun on my face and hold water in my hands. It is the same sun that shines on the other side of the world and the same water that connects us all. And this was A Thirst From Home, A Story of Water Across the World. Have a good evening, friends.